What's going on guys? Today we're going to continue work on my new bedroom. All right guys, so last time I made a lot of progress on this new bedroom I'm adding in my house. So we got the main walls up. I have the rough opening done for the door and we started to get the wall studded out for the closet. So the closet's going right here. You can see the top plate. We have the trimmers installed. So today to start off, we're gonna be trying to finish all the framing up. So I'm going to be framing in the water heater completely, putting a wall in front of that. I will have to finish up over top, get all the cripple studs in for the closet, and this is where the bifold doors are going. I'm also gonna need to stud out in some fashion here where the stairwell is. I'm probably not gonna put drywall on the inside here because this is inside the closet, but I will be doing something here, probably drywall on both sides. So I have to get that studded out nicely so I have something to mount the drywall to. And then once we get all of the framing finished up, I will be moving to electrical Last time I cut out here because this is where I'm going to be pulling the power from uh, one of these outlets. So I'm going to have to pull it over through the wall, uh, probably through that stud and then up and over the doorway. I'm going to be putting a light switch in this area. So this light is currently wired to the other five in this room, which is just on one switch over there. So I don't want that anymore. So I'm going to have to go upstairs and rewire that light to now a switch on this wall. Otherwise, I'm also gonna add a receptacle somewhere in this area. So that will be the main plan for today. Let's get started.
All right guys, I've now got all of the framing and electrical finished up. So I went ahead and got the closet finished. I was basically just doing the uh, header over the doorway. So now this is framed out for a dual bifold closet. And then I, over here, I went ahead and framed in in front of the water heater. Uh, I was able to attach this one stud directly to the wall because there are some studs behind there. And then I just framed it out pretty traditionally. I did add these blocks at the top because I think my drywall is going to go up uh, that far. So I needed some support up there for the drywall. I couldn't make the actual top plate that high because it runs into the stairs. And then I also got these sections up here framed out. So this is a triangular section uh, next to the stairwell. So this will get drywall on both sides. On this bottom portion, I'll probably use some type of a piece of trim, wood trim to match the stairs. And then here inside the closet, I also have this framed out. I'm not gonna be doing drywall inside the closet to start. So if I will, I'll probably have to add some more support in here in this corner. But for now, I'm just gonna be drywalling the other side on the stairway side. So that will be sufficient for now. And then next up, I framed out underneath the stairs. So I figured out where I wanted my little doorway to be and then just did a bottom plate attached to the concrete and then brought some studs up and just attached them right here to the stairs. And then I went ahead with making the door. It is about 32 inches wide, so pretty close to a standard uh, doorway. And then framed it all up on the floor and uh, mounted it with some regular door hinges here. So there's two hinges and I did have to make sure that I spaced them out so that when I put the drywall on or whatever I'm gonna put on top of this, that uh, it can open and it doesn't hit itself. And then I also had to end up cutting a crazy angle on the top of this. I did that with a handsaw just so that it, it can close because if it's straight, it actually ends up hitting the stairs here. So now it's got uh, some clearance for opening. And then here is the latch I used. So it's a pretty basic magnetic latch. So this is a double uh, spring loaded type. So this just comes with uh, that latch part and then these two plates, which are just pieces of uh, steel. And they do also make this in a single version, but I wanted to go with the double just to have a little bit more hold. And also once I cover this door, having a two springs versus one will give you a little bit more force to open the door. So it basically just clicks. And then when you go to open it, you just click and release. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So when you go to close it, you just click it and then push it to close it the whole way. And you can see that everything will line up. So I can make this more or less a little bit of a hidden door. I don't think I'll put any type of handle on it because you really don't need it when you just push it and then you can just grab it and open it pretty easy. And then once I got all the framing done, I started on electrical, worked on this light first. So I was able to pull that light down and the uh, casing around it and then just feed a wire uh, directly that way because then up top I could get access to that wire on the outside of my subfloor so that I didn't have to pull up any of the subfloor upstairs. And then basically what I did was I ran it over and then down this wall, there were already wires coming down for, uh, there's a light switch on the other side of this wall right here. So there was already a hole that had enough room that I ran a, another wire down through. So then that wire was sitting down in this area, but I really needed that wire to get over here to the light switch. So then next what I did was I ran a wire with a fishing cable down through this hole that I drilled. So that new wire I ran down was gonna be the power source wire. So that is this one here. So I disconnected that from the fishing wire and then brought it over and then that is the outlet I used actually on the other side that's in my bedroom. So that's where I'm pulling the power from. And then once I had that fishing cable down here, I then reattached the light cable and then pulled it back up through. And then that's what you see, that's why there's two wires here. One is the power source and the other is the one that goes to this light. So then I ran it into the uh, light switch box. And then I continued a cable on to wire the outlets. So I went to this outlet and then brought one more cable the whole way over to this outlet, which is now for the reverse side of this wall. And as you can see, it looks like I wired everything correct because I have this little tester here. And when both of those lights are on, it means everything is good to go. And now you can see when I turn this switch off, it turns the light off. So it is no longer wired to the other lights in the room. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today. Let me know if you have any questions about what I did. Next up is gonna be drywall.